Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining with me in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. Today we are reading Lesson 14 out of the workbook. And I would like to open with a prayer. This is my second time doing this lesson. My microphone wasn't working the first time, so I hope it's working now. Dear Father, if left to my own devices, my perception will be skewed. I surrender to you everything that I think and feel. God, please take my past, plan my future. Send your spirit to redeem my mind that I might be set free. May I be your channel, God, and serve the world. May I become who you would have me be. Do what you would have me do. Go where you would have me go. And say what you would have me say. And to whom, dear God? God, I thank you. I thank you for bringing us together today for this lesson. Amen. Okay, so here we go. Lesson 14 in the Blue Book, A Course in Miracles. And I just want to say this first. I accept that my higher self and I are one. Through the eyes of my higher self, I see oneness, abundance, wholeness, peace, happiness, love, and innocence. I accept. God did not create a meaningless world. Lesson 14. The idea for today is, of course, the reason why a meaningless world is impossible. What God did not create does not exist, and everything that does exist, exists as he created it. The world you see has nothing to do with reality. It is of your own making, and it does not exist. The exercises for today are to be practiced with eyes closed throughout. The mind searching period should be short, a minute at most. Do not have more than three practice periods with today's idea unless you find them comfortable. If you do find them comfortable, it will be because you really understand what the lessons are for. The idea for today is another step in learning to let go of the thoughts that you have written on the world and see the Word of God in their place. The early steps in this exchange, which can truly be called salvation, can be, can be quite difficult Excuse me, and even quite painful. Some of them will lead you directly into fear. You will not be left there. You will go far beyond it. Our direction is toward perfect safety and perfect peace. With eyes closed, think of all the horrors in the world that cross your mind. Name each one as it occurs to you and then deny its reality. God did not create it, and so it is not real. Say, for example... God did not create that war, and so it is not real. God did not create that airplane crash, and so it is not real. God did not create that disaster, specify it, and so it is not real. Suitable subjects for the application of today's idea also include anything that you are afraid might happen to you or to anyone about whom you are concerned. In each case, name the disaster quite specifically. Do not use general terms. For example, do not say, God did not create illness, but God did not create cancer, or heart attacks, or whatever may arouse fear in you. This is your personal repertory of horrors at which you are looking. And this is why I don't try to break it down for you. This is your personal repertory of horrors at which you are looking. These things are part of the world you see. Some of them are shared illusions and others are part of your personal hell. It does not matter. What God did not create can only be in your own mind apart from His. 
Therefore, it has no meaning. In recognition of this fact, conclude the practice periods by repeating today's idea. God did not create a meaningless world. The idea for today can, of course, be applied to anything that disturbs you during the day. Aside from the practice periods, be very specific in saying it, in applying it, excuse me. Say, God did not create a meaningless world. He did not create and then specify the situation which is disturbing you, and so it is not real. I thank you so much for joining with me in Lesson 14. I love you. I love you. I freaking love you. God did not create a meaningless world. I love you. Thank you for joining. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.